Hey guys, I want to talk to you guys, what is blessing? A lot of people do not understand what blessing is. A lot of us think to be blessed is to have money, to have material possession. That's what we consider blessing. It's always about material possession. It's always about our health, but it's never been about spiritual maturity. It's never been about a closeness with God, fellowship with the Lord. That's what true blessing is. Every The way we think is always about material possession. It's good to have those things, but when the Bible is talking about blessings, the Bible is talking about spiritual blessings. That's the most important blessing. All those other things follow that. Having material possession is secondary to spiritual blessing. The only way you could be truly blessed is to obey the Lord and follow his commandments. A rich person that have, you know, that's successful, that have a lot of money, that's healthy, he consider himself blessed. Even though that person may be ungodly, that person is unrighteous. He consider himself blessed. We use the word blessing out of context. Blessing is in fellowship with God, obeying his commandments. So a lot of these false teachers, these prosperity gospel teachers, they say that having money, I mean, being poor is a curse. That's a lie from, from Satan. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that. The Apostle Paul, are you going to say the Apostle Paul and some of the, in the first uh, century Christians, the disciples that were poor, they were cursed? There's a lot of false teaching going on in the church today. They talk, there's a lot of prosperity teaching. It's always about material possession. It's never about godliness. These people are false teachers that's gonna send that's gonna take people to hell with them if you follow them. <clears throat> material possession should not be the focus of your life. The focus of your life should be um, fellowship, cultivating a relationship with Jesus Christ. If all you think is about is material possession, that becomes an idol in your life. Whatever that you put before God is an idol. If it's your career, if it's money, if it's your possession, if you put that before God, you may call yourself a Christian, but you are worshiping a false god of idol. Money is temporary. Those things are temporary possession. No one, those things does not give you eternal life. You cannot say you are blessed just because you have material possession. True blessing is obeying the Lord and following his commandments. Having a closeness relationship with the Lord. Having, you know, he, he, he's so close to the Lord that he reveals things to you before it happens. You, you have a prophetic, um, sometimes you have prophetic dreams and visions. Those are signs that you are close to the Lord. Do not let anything hinder your relationship with with Jesus Christ. Do not let anything get in the way. Material possession will get in the way 
If you just pursuing money, all you think about is money. All you think about is having a nice car. All you think about is um, having a big house. Those things become an idol in your life. They replace Christ. Come back to your first love. Jesus is your first love. Everything else is secondary. Not only that too, when you put anything before God, it offends the Lord. It's offensive. Money cannot give you eternal life. A big house cannot give you eternal life. Cars cannot give you eternal life. Fame cannot give you eternal life. A wise person pursue righteousness. A wise person pursue what's eternal. Okay? A wise person pursue what's eternal. Not what's temporary. Okay? So is is do not put anything uh, before the Lord. So I'm gonna read to you guys what it says in um in Romans. It says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, share with the Lord's people who are in need, practice hospitality, bless those who persecute you, and bless and bless and do not curse. This is what they call blessing. Spiritual maturity, righteousness, living a godly life. That's what God called blessing. Okay, because a lot of the disciples were poor. And material possession have nothing to do with blessing. You could have a lot of money and be ungodly. So that's, that's very important. And it says in James 1 verses... Uh, 12, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. The more I get closer to the Lord, the less I care about money. I want money to survive. I want money to for my ministry, but I don't think about it all the time. Like, I don't let that get in the way um, between me and the Lord. I just think about having money so I could help women that's in prostitution. Do not let money become an idol in your life. True blessing comes to those who love the Lord and obey Him. May the Lord bless you, and may the Lord keep you, um, you know, keep you living, you know, keep you righteous. Thank you, guys. Amen.